Hi, my name is Eddie Perlberg and I'm the product manager for 3DS Max. Let's talk about 3DS Max 2017. Initially, when you open up 3DS Max 2017, you'll immediately see all the work that's been done on the new look and feel. So not only did we make sure that 3DS Max worked well with high resolution monitors, but we also took that opportunity to strategically work on the user interface, updating its style, its color, its look. For animation, we focused in on the track view and did an overhaul of not only the user interface and its workflow, but we made sure that its performance was increased, as well as adding functionality that will greatly enhance the use of animation in 3DS Max. And we did a very similar thing with UV mapping, so that, again, not only was its performance enhanced with the ability to bring larger data sets and high-res imagery easily, but we also made sure that we took a look at the overall workflow and we increased its performance with new peel algorithms and other elements like that to UV mapping. Artists are going to really appreciate a number of the efficiencies that we built into 3DS Max 2017. There's a whole new rendering technology available uh, that is going to allow them to quickly and easily create very realistic types of renderings with very little effort. No matter what industry you're working in, you'll be able to take advantage of the 3DS Max Asset Library. It's available to all 3DS Max subscribers, which allows you to quickly and easily search through all of your local and network drives to find your assets and then bring them into 3DS Max. Whether you want to XREF, import, or replace, you can quickly find your models, seeing them in thumbnails. One of the things we're most excited about is user voice. And the way the user voice works is that directly in the help, while you're working, you can go ahead and have an idea about 3DS Max and relay it to the development team. We really feel that 3DS Max 2017 is a customer-driven release.